Well, we are right around the corner from Sweet Home Coffee, and we're going to go over here and have a, one of the best mango shakes you'll find in Chiang Mai. Right here, right around the corner. I believe she's open. Thank you. 100% no issue there. Okay. Yep. <laughs> oh. I'm going to tell everybody to come see you again. I'm waiting the time. Everybody leave me this month. Maybe Did they? Yes, yeah, so everybody said goodbye to this month. You know, maybe change my two hearts. Yeah. yeah. The about smoke. Evolution. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So bad evolution. So All right. Well, when they come back, they need to come see you. Okay, bye-bye. See you later. She always sends me back with mangoes. <laughs> All right, take care. Nice meeting you all. Have a good trip. You'll be on YouTube tonight. <laughs> my dream come to you. My wish, I want you and you meet one time here. Yes. All right, let's get a photo. There we go. You know, each other 10 over here at the coffee lover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I talk about you. Every time and uh, my tree come to. So she's gonna she's gonna get a photo. Okay. Now if you want good mangoes, good mango shake, good sticky rice mango, this is the place to come in Chiang Mai and sweetest lady in the world. Hey, welcome to the channel. It's uh Tuesday, it's about ten thirty in the morning and uh I'm up here on the north side of the moat, and I thought I'd walk around a little bit and see what's going on, see where I can end up. Uh, it's a pretty nice day. The, uh, the air quality is not that great. It's about, I think, it's about 130. Uh, you know, it's, you can see it's kind of hazy, and it's a little bit difficult breathing. It, and it really, for the people that are coming here on vacation, it really doesn't make that much matter to them that much. But for those of us that live here, you know, the air quality effect on us over a period of time can, you know, can, can get pretty, pretty nasty. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, we mask up and we wear, uh, you know, we try to cover up and, and we have uh, air cleaners at home. So, you know, it, it is what it is. But uh, anyway, I want to thank everybody that's come into the channel and left comments and, uh, bought coffee you know super thanks and if you want to support the channel I'm, I'll leave a link to the uh, um, buy a cup of coffee uh, page down below where you can you know you can click on it if you want to there's no no big deal but uh, I appreciate everybody that has and uh, anyway I'm gonna turn the camera around and we'll start walking nice colorful shirt there and this place is, has closed down Feast Society. They used to have some really great sandwiches there. But uh, I'm going to tell you a story today. It's, there's something that's going on up here, and it, it's not actually here. It's down in Phuket. But uh, it's really kind of strange, bizarre, and, and interesting to a point. Um, it's uh, something that uh, is kind of an eye-opener. Eye um, back about two weeks ago, there was a Thai lady and her, her friend, they were walking on the beach down in Phuket, and they saw a set of stairs off to the, uh, to the side, so they decided to, to walk up from, you know, they were on the beach, and walk up to the stairs, it was in front of a, a villa, and, uh, so a guy's got someplace he's gonna go. And just kind of take a rest and, you know, take in the, the view of the ocean and the moon or, or whatever it was and, and just kind of enjoy themselves there and, you know, not hurting anything. They weren't making a lot of noise or, you know, doing anything like that. Uh, well, apparently the P 
people that were renting the villa came out. And uh, it was a Swiss guy and his, his Thai wife. And started raising cane with these two people and, uh, you know, for sitting on their stairs and in coaching on their their uh, their villa that they were staying at, and apparently it got pretty nasty. And uh, at some point in time, it's alleged that the uh, the Swiss guy kicked the uh, the Thai lady. Or, now it says kicked, or whether he kicked or just put his put his foot out and, and pushed her. It's kind of hard to say. It doesn't, doesn't really say, and he's not admitting to it. It's just going by what she's, she's saying. Either way, it's wrong. Uh, but, uh, and then apparently his wife got into it with her, with him, and made some threats and, and whatever. But anyway, you know, in most times that, you know, that would kind of blow over a little bit. Hello, Ty went on. I think we'll go down here and walk to the right here. But uh, in this case, the uh, turns out that the that the woman was a was a doctor, and she was a doctor at one of the local hospitals there in, in Phuket. And she went to the police and filed a complaint. And was pretty upset about it, which she had every right to be. And uh, the. Uh, She filed a complaint on the Swiss guy, and apparently the Swiss guy also owns an elephant sanctuary in, in Phuket. And I read there, he had had previous run-ins with uh, some ambulance drivers, and there was a video of, of him floating around where he had uh, given the ambulance drivers the finger. So, He's kind of got two strikes against him to begin with. Well, they go to the, uh, she goes to the police station, she files a complaint against him and they have to bring him in and they, uh, they all sit down and talk and it doesn't say whether he paid a fine or, or what the deal was, uh, but he ended up both him and his wife, you know, lied the people and apologized and admitted he was wrong and all that stuff. Well, all well and good, you know, you think that that's going to be the end of it. Well, it wasn't. The, uh, the people, the Thai people down there in Phuket really just got very, very upset and, uh, they protested and they're actually, on um, one particular day, there were 500 people out in front of the steps where this occurred and they were having a protest. And they want the guy deported. And uh, the last writings that I, I read on the internet was that the governor had instructed the police to start investigating the backgrounds of some of the foreigners in, in Phuket that were, you know, they suspected of uh, being troublemakers. So who knows what's gonna happen. Um, I did read where the Thai police came out and said that this guy's long-term visa is to expire on March 13th. And they were requesting that the uh, immigration did not renew his visa. So that's gonna put him in a really pretty tricky spot. So, you know, you just don't react to people like that. You know, you don't, number one, you don't put your hands on anybody, let alone your feet. You know, I mean, in Thailand, the foot is the, probably the most dirtiest part of the body, according, you know, to Thai people. And the last thing you want to do is put your foot on somebody. Hello. Hello. And, uh, and that's what this, it's alleged that that's what this guy did. He doesn't, uh, he won't admit it. And, um, gosh, I think we just walked by here not too long ago. But, oh well. See different faces, that's for sure. 
Now, I don't know what's down in here. I may see go down this way. You know, it's not a question of where you want to uh, walk. It's kind of a question of where you where you're going to be able to park up here. There's so much construction going on now that uh, oh, there's a little a little place back here. There's so much construction going on. It's really hard to find a place to park. And then a lot of these businesses that are on the edges of the moat, um, you know, they'll put motorcycles, they'll put chairs out by the road, so it's kind of hard to find a place to park. That's some pretty neat clothes. I will go back down this way and maybe swing left somewhere here. Fujifilm, Kofark, Kodak, all for Ilford. Huh. But, uh, It'll be interesting to see what, how that plans out. And I was reading another article just today about another guy, and I think this was in Padia. Uh, another foreigner was in a, in a cafe that's dog friendly, and there was a lady petting a dog in the, uh, in the cafe. It wasn't even her dog, and the dog started barking and causing a little bit of ruckus in some foreigner it mentioned his nationality, which I won't repeat. Got mad and threw a glass at the lady and it hit her and cut her. And, uh, and then he took off. Now he, he, he'll have a hard road to hoe when, whenever he's found. That is no doubt. Now I think if we go straight here, this is a pretty neat little alley in front of us. I'm pretty sure that goes down to uh, one of the temples that I want to hit. If I can get across the street here. I'm just enjoying a nice walk. Make sure I don't get run over. But, uh, you know, you just don't, you, you don't get physical with people here. It's the last thing that you want to do because you're not going to win. I promise you, you won't win. <laughs> Moya Massage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know where this comes out at. I've walked it from the other direction. Hello, Swati Cop. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a surefire way to get hurt. You know, I got a friend of mine that, uh, he's a little bit of an aggressive driver. And uh, he was on one of the back streets in Hangdong. And uh, at the 7-Eleven, which is common for them to do this, they'll park a truck there at the 7-Eleven and kind of block the road. Well, it blocked him in, a little doggy, and he got upset, and uh, he laid on his horn. And when he did, the, uh, wow, that guy's, hello, guy's got some tattoos on him. Uh, when he laid on his horn, let's walk down this way. It's probably just another dead end down here. It's a pretty neat place. He, uh, the guy in the truck jumped out of the truck and came up to his, he was in the truck too, and he was going to pull him out of the truck. And uh, fortunately, he was able to uh, step on the gas and get out of there. Now, I don't know where this goes. Huh. Maybe we'll walk down here see where it comes out at but uh, he was about to get his tail whipped and sorry Ed. that's okay have you stopped recording no no oh. sorry, i'm still I was, recording i was just uh unseen thailand yeah uh, what what uh, where around here can i get a western food breakfast oh straight up just walk straight up there yeah it's called blue diamond yeah and it's on the right hand side let me see, straight. Yeah, Blue Diamond will be on the right-hand side. Yellow building, yeah. yeah. Okay, fine, thanks. 
Nice to meet you. And uh, when I'm in Ireland on the cold, wintry days, I turn on this. And, uh, okay. <laughs> How long are you here for? Uh, ten week holiday. Have another ten week holiday. Great. Great. Yeah. So you watch the channel? Not every day. Well, that's okay. Yeah, but it's, it's Enjoy your breakfast. They do. They have really good food there. It's called Blue Diamond. Okay, it's funny that just wandering around the back roads. Is just, I'm road. just, I've never walked down this one before. I, I came down so it was a dead end. Yeah. And then when I saw you, I figured, okay, this guy knows something. Cheers. Sorry Take care, buddy. Okay. That's nice. Gosh, just about every time I get out now, I run into somebody that uh, sees the channel. I have no clue where this is going to take me out. It may take me out back on the moat, which would be okay. I love walking these alleys and seeing what's back here. Now, I have maybe walked this before, but it's probably been so long ago I've forgotten about it. Seems to be that it looks like a little bit familiar. But yeah, uh, I don't really care how big and bad you are. If you start a fight here, chances are you're going to get your butt whipped because number one, you're a foreigner, and <laughs> number two, if it looks like the, uh, the Thai person needs some help, there'll be some people around that'll help him, and you'll end up in the wrong end of the stick. Now, I, I'm sure there's a situations where that's not true, but... but uh, in every situation that I know of, uh, the foreigner usually end up usually ends up at the short end of the stick. Now we could go back that way and get to the car, or we can go down this way and try to hit another little alley that goes to the left. I think we'll go this way. I'm enjoying the walk. Uh, I, my energy's good. I just smell somebody around here smoking, but. Uh, Things are, things are looking up. I, uh, I went to the blood doctor last night. My blood levels are just about perfect. Um, my hemoglobin, which was one of the things that we had problems with, had risen to 16.7. That's the highest I've ever seen any of my readings ever go. So something's good. Um, everything else seems to be falling right into place. Now I have to go in two months and I'll get another uh, another CAT scan done, and I, you know, it's just the way it is. Something I'll be going through for the rest of my life. And I see the this is going on everywhere around here, tearing up the place, and it really makes it difficult to park because on the front side or on the uh, east side of the moat, they're digging all up around through here. It's really making it hard. But you can see out there, they're doing it as well. But you have to really be careful where you walk. Okay, we're coming up to Chiang Mai Gate, or, or uh, Chiang Port Gate, Gate. And we will hang a left there and uh, walk in behind the temple. I still have not had breakfast yet. Looks like they got sticky rice mango here. Yeah. 79 baht. That's not bad. It's not a bad price. Those are not real mangoes. <laughs> In town cafe. Now oh, this is neat. The Canal Boutique House. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know when they'll ever finish this wall over here. What they've done is they've started ex excavating in the center and they found the remnants of the old wall and uh, they're going through it. Now if you want to get your Chiang Mai t-shirt, right here's the place to get it. Now I read there's a market right on the other side over there and I had read that the, uh, the market here has been sold. Now whether it'll change or not, who knows. And I don't know what, uh, what effects that, that is going to have on the food court that's always out there at night. Hopefully none, because you know a lot of people make their living out there. But we're gonna go down this way. And then we'll make another left and get down here to the corner. You can kind of see how hazy the air is. Like I said, for, you, for those that are just coming here on vacation, it really, you know, it doesn't really have an effect on you. But those of us that, that live here and have to breathe this stuff every day, you know, it's, it's not real good. And I'm probably going to limit my trips up to the city until, uh, until the air clears up. And uh, I've thought about going back doing live streams again. Tell me what you all think. You know, do you want to see some more live streams? I can, I can do those as well. And uh, Spencer has just got back from the United States and Charlie is in the Philippines right now. And uh, he's, uh, he's gonna stay there until the air clean, cleans out. See, these, we, they've got these barricades everywhere up here. It really makes it difficult. But we're gonna go left here, and we're about on the same road that we came in on, just a little bit different. Hello. A lot of cool art here. <laughs> 